Right, we're back to Blake 7. What happened last time? Last time, we had a countdown of Avon's friends. Yes, met... yes! I remember now. Friends. Uh, Del Grant. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the Albions. Yeah. Uh, and some interesting information regarding Star One, the computer mm. that has supposedly the central yeah. thing for the Federation. Yeah, the actual location. Apparently, someone called Doc Holly knows. Doc Holly? Have I said that right? De Cholly? De Cholly? Doc Holly? Dockerly. Dockerly? It's Dockerly, that's how he said it. Yeah. Dockerly. And I guess that we found that out right at the end. So I guess I'm kind of expecting that that we won't come back to that until the finale. Potentially. Well, we're but not, we're we not that know. far off the finale now. Exactly, so maybe it's going to be just a continuing thing now. I don't know. And this episode is Voice from the Past by Roger Parks. No idea who that is. Voice from the Past. That's one of the longest titles we've had. You're right, it is. They're it? usually, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, usually one word, but whole whopping four. And what <laughs> this is going on? <laughs> Meditation. Yoga. These exercises of yours, Carrie, do not appear to improve the temper. <laughs> I've been to Del Ten before, Blake. Blake! They finally get their holiday. Del Ten course aborted. Ah. New course, destination, asteroid PK118. What's with Blake then? I don't know, he's. That sound is bothering him. Yeah. The liberator is very bright. It's very overlit. That was too much, isn't it? Hey, Mr. Blake. What's wrong? Is he sick? Do you think? What? Space fatigue. This is an uncomfortably close. Everyone, get in the camera shot. Not even for Blake. Let's find out. Come on, Terry. 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 He's a Marinus. What, the thing? Thing on the head, yeah. It's not Terry Nation who wrote this, though. <laughs> but he did write Keys of Marinus. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is in the Doctor Who universe. Maybe they're near Marinus. Maybe K118 is near Marinus. And he heard it just before he rerouted us, right? A voice Sir, from his past know? brainwashing. If the term is in yeah. some way related to the dream. No, Avon, try all right first. Or a full of diagnosis. Hmm. We're using Oric or something. That's it. Is that it, the tone? Yes. yes. Orac, what do you make of it? He goes to sleep, he dreams, he hears the tone. And then he awakens under the influence. <laughs> It doesn't make all right. Why has this Can never happened now that be before out. though? Emergency treatment data recommends dual therapy. There's just been a lot going You're, on. Of course. With another human being. He's not slept. <laughs> Everything we've seen has been one day. So as to put it to all charges, sentenced to confinement, penal colonism is our very own life. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. Renounce! Pulse! Renounce! Pulse! Renounce! Stop it! Stop it! You're all gone mad! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> This is insane. This is this is insane. Restrainers recommended for subject safety, plus constant supervision. Zero four five. Yeah, I loved the dramatic close-up on Orac, as if it was like you know a person. <laughs> yeah. Interesting premise. Yes, definitely. Yeah, more past stuff coming back. I wonder if it'll be a bottle episode, like, all set on the Liberator. With this, Could be. trying to figure out this problem. Could be. Me too. Ah, well. You've got... Uh, well, calm down. It's it? empty. <laughs> You're in charge now, are you? Can you think of anyone more suitable? Yourself, perhaps? Jenna. And why not? I'm as good as you are! should be second. Yeah, she's already done it. She's already done it. Oh, wait, no, is this something different? Blake. Okay. In charge of the Liberator. Which oh. Blake's out. Okay. So right. They've tied him up. Okay. Although Jenna did just go through oh. the thing. Okay, so my point kind of still stands then. 
Yeah. Got us back. Our only hope is this asteroid. Correction, our nearest hope. No, he's actually weird. Yeah. Treachery, piracy, call it what you will. No. Avon has been excluding <laughs> me a bit lately. Yeah, something's up. To Del Ten. What? Eight. Right. No. No? Something's up with Blake. Uh, pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Zen's like, oh god, make up your minds. Jeez. <laughs> He's they're, gonna, they're making up for something else now. Oh. Hmm. Could it have been affected by now? Possibly. At least for the transmission of a basic signal. Like an oscillating pulse tone. Yes. So it wasn't in his sleep, someone would be to into him. Destination imminent. Prepare for orbit. Like in uh, that episode that we just that we had earlier, this the third one. The one where Oret got taken over. Yeah, similar, I suppose. Yes, but leaving the track. Only for a few days. Bring them to their senses. Few days. <laughs> in that room. I am going down there to check that the life support oh, systems are functional. Well, I just hope you're right. Wow. <laughs> the most astronauty suits over there. Yeah. It's a bit overkill. <laughs> <laughs> if it works, it works. It feels like a cheap episode. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to say it. <laughs> I was going to say that because they deliberately didn't show the clip of him being beamed away as if the saving that was on the special too much effects. To do. And then we got that, wow. which would fit into the whole bottle episode kind of theme. This is a cheap one. Apart from the costumes, everyone again is just so fashionable. <laughs> Some of these are carried out, aren't they? Probably, yeah. I don't know, they seem for me. Man, we haven't seen green screen that bad since Doctor Who. <laughs> which is the only other show we watched, to be fair. <laughs> okay. There's another the set. <laughs> As if. Hmm. What is. Villa, Villa, can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> what is that? Is Blake still aboard? <laughs> no, he's teleported down. Is it? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, they really can't show that, can they? It's, yeah, they're not. They're not showing that effect. Another one where everyone slowly <laughs> gets beamed out. I mean, the, that's kind of a reason now. No, we agreed that there would be no There's always been a reason. Oh, yeah. And the subsequent elimination of your defence lawyer when he discovered that the evidence against you had been falsified. Episode one. Yeah. 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 What was his name, no, that guy and his wife who got killed by... And Space Command. I did Dev Tarrant. Dev Tarrant. The only sane one. And Here we go. Yes? Governor Legrand of Outer Gal for you. Is she in the TARDIS? <laughs> of course. So it's here on board. Right. This is uh, quite an episode. So it's a treasure hunt now. At last, the That's what it is now. Okay. Just Careful with that. Your yeah. precious box of tricks. His accent changed. Yeah. You, the real master. Hmm. Be careful. Yeah, that is different. Is he French or Russian or? I don't know. It's definitely some kind of European. Or German? What is this? It's, go it's going all of them. <laughs> what is happening? This is... <laughs> Change actor? The triumvirate, my friends. To it as a fact How did we get here? I have specific <laughs> <laughs> It's too good to be true, isn't it? It feels like too easy a victory. 
Listen to Orac. They were just out. listen. That's quite a cool shot, isn't it? Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not sure it is a cheap one, I just think maybe they... They just prioritise certain things. Yeah, they just try to save money by not showing it a couple of times. Yeah, they can't draw some lines, but they can get these words. Worth it for this. <laughs> yeah. Ah. My lady. Huh? My lady. <laughs> and now we've got some murder going on. Oh Where? my god. <laughs> He is the master. <laughs> As if this episode couldn't get any more. I don't know. That explains the completely ridiculous <laughs> acting. <laughs> yeah. Travis tries acting. That was good. That got us. This. That got yeah. us. What? The, oh, oh yes, of course. He's, he's doing better than he ever is. Yeah. Wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> what is happening? Mm. Mm. Of course. Have their... Where did they get did them back from? Didn't they hand them in? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they didn't. Oh, it's back again. What is it? What's been? Who is doing it? Like oh, but they're the, the, the now. He looks better with the facial get hair. Bit of a pickle. Yeah. <laughs> Took him a while to realise. <laughs> Sitting there for three minutes. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. Should have done that a while ago. Hey, <laughs> one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. While they're dealt to inform you that he is himself alright. Now Whoa I'm sorry. That was the that, maddest episode. That was the mad yeah. That was the maddest. <laughs> oh my gosh! I just Travis. Frida Nor, that name rings a bell. N not to me. Not to me, then. And I definitely saw Pat Gorman in there somewhere. As an extra, I think. Hmm. I don't know that either. <laughs> Elizabeth Parker! Doing special sounds. Yeah, sounds. Interesting. Elizabeth Parker was the Time Lash soundtrack, directed by. To admit, I was not a big fan of the directing on this one. <laughs> it was. I don't. I, oh, interesting. George Spen Foster. Who is normally very good. But, I, mean, mm. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what to think of this episode. <laughs> no, neither do I. I don't, yeah. I think probably the episode that's had the most like impact on me anyway. <laughs> the Travis like, reveal. The Travis reveal, but just the no the story as a whole was weird and did I wanna know more? I don't know. <laughs> because I didn't uh. It was so uh. very the master that reveal, wasn't it? The <laughs> dodgy accent, the ah no you'll see who I really am <laughs> But I liked yeah. the little yeah. bit before he did that. You could see the gun with the yellow diamond on it, the ring gun, whatever yeah. it is. That you could, so you know before he's even taken the mask off that it's oh, Travis. Oh, that's the Travis. So thing. that was quite that was quite clever. But 
I was suspicious because whenever you, you are specifically hiding a character's face like that, there's a reason. Except for their one eye, apart from one eye, out that like looked that. very fake. <laughs> yeah. But there's a story reason for it looking fake, and that it was fake because it wasn't really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit yeah. On. Well. Yeah, I gotta say the first yeah the first time watch of this is wonderful. Yeah, it's wonderful when you don't know what's gonna happen and then you see it all. It's great. <laughs> yeah, a very strange episode, but one that I enjoyed for that. Yeah. That... Um, the the whole plot line with the hypnotism going to that rebel group and the whole pl- it was like a trap in a trap in a trap really. That I like. I appreciate that. It was quite well thought out with the it was the. Um, you're not quite sure um, who the trap is for, in a way. It's <laughs> psychological, in a way. Yeah. It, you know, is, is, the trap, is, is the trap is the trap Grand and the Rebels and Shivan? You know there is a trap there, somewhere, and it's very well hidden, because it could be any of the things. And the one that it is, is actually, quite, I think, the least obvious. Mm. Um, which is, Legrand and those Rebels are actually telling the truth. They're, they're all genuine but it's uh the conference that their plan is that is the trap and has been since the start which i thought was quite good mm. don oh uh, yeah i was i was gonna say that um it seemed like it was very much focused on like each of the characters there's a lot of close-ups and a lot of delving into mm. the yeah kind of delving into the minds of people there was a nice amount for a lot of the main cast to do actually in this one as well everyone was very well used i think it definitely directing wise it felt quite cheap and production production wise it felt well i'm talking about on how the low budget but that wasn't actually to its detriment because it didn't need a high budget it was it hit a yeah, lot it of worked that. well enough it was, but yeah, again, some of the cuts, particularly at the end, that chaotic scene, it was quite confusingly directed. Um, wasn't the most smooth. It was, you know, it was going by so quickly, I didn't have time to think about where it cut. But on the whole, uh, strong, really strong. Yes, this. Again, I think this is one that should have been in last season, because <laughs> it was so related to the first episode of Black yeah. 7. Um you know, we were struggling with ne- the names of those people who, you know, the, the trial, uh, you know, I, luckily I wrote down Dev Terrence, but I didn't write down yeah. the name of his defender and the wife that got murdered. I do remember that, but yeah, would you have remembered that a year and a half, and a half ago? Maybe not. But, they, uh, like, even Blake said uh, that he was tired of, to- you know, just talking, talking, talking and not getting anywhere. So that, that kind of, in a way, reflects some of the... Criticism Point, of yes, series one that, yeah. that you've brought up, yeah. And it seems like we're going, yeah, like maybe we both we had a men- brief mention of Star One there. Yeah, so we're continuing on that. So um, it wasn't really a continuation of that storyline, but yeah, like I said, maybe in the finale that will come back. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Eight point five. Yes, eight point five from the both of us. Okay, that was that Voices was from the Past. Voice from the Past. Voice singular. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I did ask the question, how was that voice being beamed into the hypnotism? But it makes sense that it was the Federation trying to get him to go to those rebels to lead them into the trap. There. So that made yes. sense. Uh, okay, we'll see you next time for whatever the next episode is. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, outro. Outro.